In the summer of 1914, whilst most of Europe was preoccupied with thoughts of the impending war, the four sisters were more concerned with matters of the heart. The Tsar and Tsarina thought they might have found a royal match for Olga in Prince Carol, the heir to the Romanian throne, but their eldest daughter would take some convincing. Olga was really rather horrified that Carol of Romania had been suggested as a prospective bridegroom because he had quite a reputation as a ladies' man. He wasn't really ideal material so far as Olga was concerned and she was actually quite definite that she wasn't having anything to do with it. In June 1914, the Romanov family paid a visit to their Romanian counterparts. This was intended to be an opportunity for the dubious Carol to win over the reluctant Olga. As the families posed for an official photograph, Olga, sat at the far right-hand side of frame, kept her distance from Carol at the back and paid far more attention to the baby on her knee than to him. And just in case he hadn't got the message, she and her sisters had concocted a cunning plan to ward off any Romanian advances. They had all spent time lying in the sun before going across to Romania and were quite sunburnt. And it was something that the Romanians immediately noticed with horror. Royal princesses do not have sunburn and look like sunburnt gypsies. And they were very disapproving of the fact. And in a way, the Roman Romanov girls were triumphant because this was a deliberate conspiracy on their part, that none of them should be attractive to Prince Carol, and none of them should have to marry him and leave home. The sisters might not have felt there was much urgency to the hunt for a husband, but within a few weeks of their return home, any thought of marriage or of leaving Russia had become a distant dream.